Good morning, students. Welcome back to Alchemy Online Class, Class Three, Chapter Number Four. Working with a Microsoft Paint. As we I have told you how to open a Paint program. Now we are going to see the different tools. How to use the different tools by using a Paint program. So students, we are going to see today Paint. and we are going to see the some important tools and shapes of the paint we are going to see pencil fill with color tax eraser cool color picker magnifier and all these shapes and brushes so students first of all we are going to see pencil tool first step is you have to click on pencil then after you have to click on size you have to click on size then have to choose the color as you want to draw i want to draw with green color i want to draw a leaf so then after i will go to our drawing area and i will draw a leaf pencil okay now we are going to we have done pencil how to draw any picture using pencil pencil then size and choose color and draw anything you want to draw on the screen now how to feel the color now we are going to feel the color in this flower so this kind of bucket bucket kind of bucket kind of tool we will use first of all i will click on this then after i will choose color example i am going to choose blue so now i will go to drawing area and i put the color with the mouse in this flower likewise again i want to change the color in between i want to yellow so i will click on yellow in i will do it yellow like this we can feel the color in the drawing now i want to write something i want to give a text something so first of all i will click on this a symbol and here my mouse pointer is got changed so here i want to write so i will draw a text box by using mouse and i will write have a great day we can also change the font by using this we can also change the font and font size write the text on the paint program text now students here i have made some mistake and i want to erase so how i will do first of all i will click on tool group and i will click on eraser and then after i will choose the size and then after i will go to the area and i will rub by using mouse so this is the way to erase a but any mistake now students i will tell you how to color how to pick a color from using a color picker tool first of all i will click on this and now i will choose this now you can see color one is changed automatically by clicking on this so i have choose the color from another picture now i want to give any picture so i can put color on any drawing so like this we can use the color picker by using foreground to change the color So now students we are going to see how to see the picture in bigger size in a zoom so here you can see magnifier if i click on magnifier it comes a little text box it comes like this i will click on this and i can see this picture in a zoom way i can see this picture by using scroll down and scroll up again i want to do it a small so i can click on this zoom out i can make it small okay we will click on magnifier and i can ab easily able to see the picture in a zoom and bigger size match the tools used in paint with their function so as i have told you this all function we have to match this text tool color picker fill with color tool eraser tool magnifier tool and pencil tool so we will see what is the use of it first of all we will see to make the drawing look bigger so from which option we can 
see the pictures bigger so you can write here e to feel color in any closed shape so by using which we can use yes so we can feel color with feel with color tool c part of a drawing yes eraser tool <clears throat> to draw free hand drawing without any shape free hand drawing is used by pencil tool f to type a message for drawing if i want to type any message so i can use text box a to copy a color from one area of a drawing to another area of a drawing color picker so b after with that we are going to see this too that is brush if i click on the brush there are so many different kinds of brush you can see on my computer screen so we will see how to use the brush first of all click on the drop arrow under the brushes tool we'll click on this then after choose your brush example i want to use this brush now click a size i can click the size as i want and then after choose a color as i want and then after move the mouse pointer to the drawing area here i can move and i can give you output of different kind of example i am using this and i choose this size change the color so this kind of brushes are there in our see are there in our paint so students second thing we are going to see the shapes how to draw shapes and how to do color in the shapes we are going to see first of all shapes are different type you all know line curve circle rectangle triangle so now i am going to choose any shape from the shape through example i have chosen rectangle first step is to choose the shape now i will click on size as i want which size of color now i will choose color example i am going to choose the indigo color and then after i am going to do on the drawing area and i can use the shape this is rectangle i am giving you one example of circle click on circle size color and draw so this is the step how we can draw the shapes so now students we are going to see shapes with outline and feel color we can also draw a shape with different outline and feel color so what we have to do uh, when we draw such shapes we choose two color color 1 is used to as the outline color and color 2 is used to feel color so first color i will choose as a brown and second is now i have not choose so first of all i will click on second color and i will choose as a gray color okay now i will go to the feel so many options are there solid crayon marker oil natural pencil and watercolor so example i am going to use crayon and now i am going for the drawing area and i will draw the shape example i have changed rectangle and again i am going to see on the oil so like this oil color natural pencil so pencil looks like that water color water color look like that so there are different outlines different feels with the feel with color with a outline shapes so students now we are going to see how to draw a curve so first step we have to click on curve then after choose the outline and then after choose the color and draw it now as i have drawn you can see it is a straight line so you have to click on curve line as we want to do it curve i want to do it in this shape left side so like this we can do the colors and a shape in a line 
to know triangle has a three sides rectangle has four diamond has four pentagon have five sides and hexagon has six sides all these shapes are present in the shape group what if we want to draw a shape having more than six sides example i want to draw some shape more than six sides so i can use polygon i can use polygon so first of all i will click on this polygon then after choose color 1 and 2 for polygon i will choose black and then after in color 2 red now i can go for field style now i will choose line style i will choose line style there is example i am using no field then after outlines and then after i will choose the side now i want to draw there is one line there is one line then after i will click here again for this i will do here i can draw here i can do like this any shape with number of lines more than a six line i can choose Do you know that we can draw pictures using computers? Yes, with the help of MS Paint, we can draw on computers. Let us see how. Swati wants to create a greeting card to gift her friend on her birthday. She doesn't know how to draw on computer. Her brother, Sumesh, comes to see Swati. Sumesh says, Swati, why are you looking sad? Swati replies, I want to draw a flower on computer. Can you help me? Sumesh says, Sure, Swati. We can draw pictures on computer by using paint application. Paint contains various tools to draw and color. Swati says, I want to design a colorful flower and write happy birthday beside it. Sumesh says, it is very simple and this can be done by using the pencil tool. Fill with color tool and the text tool of paint. He guides her by giving step-by-step -step instructions. Let's see how Swati draws the picture. Pencil tool is used for freehand drawing. To draw a picture, first click the pencil tool in the tools group. Next, click on size to choose the line thickness. After that, click on color 1 and choose a color from the colors group. Finally, move to the drawing area and drag the mouse to the drawing area to draw a flower. Drawn the flower, we can fill it with colors using the fill with color tool. To fill color inside a petal, first Click on Fill with Color Tool in the Tools group. Next, click on Color 1 and choose a color from the Colors group. Finally, click inside a petal to fill the color. Repeat the steps to fill different parts of the flower. Swati felt the drawing will be more appealing with only one leaf on the flower stem. And she wants to delete one of them. The eraser tool helps to erase any part of a drawing. To erase the extra petal, first click on the eraser tool in the tools group. Then click on size and choose an eraser size. Next, move the pointer to the drawing area and drag the mouse over the part of the picture you want to erase. Swati says, Sumesh, how is my drawing? Sumesh says, Lovely Swati, you have drawn such a beautiful flower. Wait a moment Swati, do you remember you wanted to write a birthday wish on the greeting card? Let's type that in paint using the text tool. The text tool is used to type a message for a drawing. To type a message, first click on the text tool in the tools group. Next. Drag the pointer to the drawing area where you want to add the text. Now, 
you can see that a text tab gets added next to the view tab. Then, choose a font, style and size for the text from the font group. After that, click on color 1 and then choose a color for the text from the colors group. Finally, type the text Happy Birthday. MS Paint has various tools such as pencil, fill with color, eraser and text tools to draw pictures. We have thus discovered that we can draw pictures using MS Paint application. You have now learned how to draw a flower in the paint application. In the similar manner, draw a colorful picture of a scenery using the same tools in paint. I hope you all have understood the concept today I taught you. So you all have to read the course book with the step by step. So you are easily able to learn what I taught you. Bye students. Be safe. Stay home.